Obligatory. Hello there. Nate here from Out of the Basement. What's up, everybody? Bringing you a brand new review today. From Star Wars The Black Series, we're going to be taking a look at the retro Kenner vintage card back release of Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is an Amazon exclusive. And of course, you can see it is on a Kenner style vintage card back, and it is also a Kenner inspired figure. And right up front, of course, this figure is mostly just a repaint but i really do like the ben kenobi figure of course on the top you can see the 50th lucasfilm logo there and of course the vintage card which we've seen before with the regular release of the figure for the 40th anniversary of a new hope we've got ben kenobi with a greenish yellow lightsaber like the original packaging and of course flipping the box over you can see a picture of him and Darth Vader dueling as well as the timeline that has also shown up on the recent archive waves as well of course we are here and of course there is the bio if you want to go ahead and pause it and read it now it's just the same generic 50th anniversary thing that has been on most recent figures so I'm going to get this guy open. We'll take a look at the lightsaber and then the figure itself. And here we are. This is Ben Kenobi's lightsaber here. You can see that they reuse the original trilogy hilt sculpt here. Got a little paint flake on mine. I would assume just like the original figure, the lightsaber is devoid of paint apps. It's just silver, but you can see it has all of the wonderful sculpted detail the original one does. Of course, the very blue lightsaber there, that looks awesome. That looks so good on camera. Of course, like most lightsabers here, the blade is removable. And of course, he has storage for that lightsaber hilt. And here's a quick side-by-side -side of the lightsabers. And you can see right there all the side-by-side -side different details that are on the original release versus this vintage-inspired one. Of course, I'll take the painted hilt any day of the week but i'd have to assume the whole no paint apps thing works in hasbro's favor and it can be considered a reference to the original figure all right and now we're going to take a look at the figure and here is obi-wan kenobi out of the packaging looking absolutely amazing what a wonderful tribute to the original kenner figure of course you can see that big vinyl cape there looking straight out of 1977 or I guess 78, but either way, I think Hasbro absolutely nailed the look of the vintage figure in a black series form. And of course you can see that we have a photo reel head of Sir Alec Guinness here, finally in the black series. We're gonna take a closer look at that thing, but I gotta say it even from right here looks absolutely amazing. Pretty much that was the main draw for me to get this figure. I personally, and more of a power of the force kind of guy. I don't really have a lot of nostalgia for the original Star Wars figures, but I still like the goofy idea of them bringing back a vinyl cape. And then of course the photoreal head really sold the deal here. So we're gonna go ahead, take him off the stand and get a closer look. All right, and here is Ben up close and look at that wonderful photo reel job. Of course, I'd go on record and say that the original Obi-Wan figure was a pretty good non-photo reel head, and I'll show you a quick side by side. All right, so here they both are, and of course, obviously, it's a night and day difference. Of course, the hair is snow white, similar to the original figure. But that just looks incredible. What a great update. Great sculpt and the photo reel just absolutely applied perfectly. It does still have a little bit of a shine to it, but it's not too bad. The hair sculpt is good, of course. We've seen this before. The hair and the beard both are nicely sculpted and have some good details in them. Bit of a miss there on the hair from Hasbro. The photo reel must have overshot there, so that's kind of a bummer. And even looking more closely on this side of his head, you can see where the white paint got on the skin. So paint apps could definitely be tighter on my copy. But moving down, you can see it is more of a classic orange and black look, like the figure itself, the vintage figure, I should say. But it still really does have a lot of great sculpted detail. Like I said earlier, the Obi-Wan figure is actually pretty damn awesome. You can see the arms there have some really nice detail to them as well. Of course, the belt. Looks absolutely fantastic. 
underneath you can see the legs are even black with some orange boots and then of course here's a look at the vinyl cape i think that looks awesome mine has a little smudge on it of course there's the other arm and of course if you wanted to the vinyl cape is removable so and just because i know some people out there will be curious but yes of course the heads can swap so here is the updated photo reel head on the original body and even though the hair is really snow white it still looks absolutely badass and i honestly might permanently swap the heads i don't know yet i don't know i've been thinking about it though i've been thinking about it all right and jumping into the articulation of course he can look up pretty far does also have a great range of motion down can exorcist around and you do get some tilt out of him as well the arms can go up very far of course they rotate around you have a single jointed elbow that gives you just 90 degrees it also swivels for the first gripping hand of course you get rotation on it and it has a horizontal hinge same for the other gripping hand here horizontal hinge so would have liked to see an update of course we always prefer the vertical hinge for saber or blaster holding characters here but i knew this figure would just straight up be a repaint and of course it is for his crunch forward you get about that much backwards pretty much not at all of course you do rotate and have some amount of side to side there as well his leg can kick up about that far but of course you got to hold the heavy soft plastic tunic here because of course once you put it down it'll lower the leg pretty much there is a slit on the side so you can have obi do the splits if you so choose or if you want to pose him like that for some reason but moving back into the leg of course you know he can kick back about that far probably a little bit further if you lift this up so yeah like that he can kick back about that far does have a thigh cut right there double jointed knees that actually work very well and for the feet of course they can go down very far go up a decent amount as well and of course ankle pivot so there you go overall we knew exactly what we'd be getting into with the articulation of this figure not bad pretty much standard fare for most black series figures definitely could use a few tweaks but i think overall the body still holds up so overall it's a very solid figure but now let's go ahead and see how he scales first up of course here's some black series figures we have the land speeder luke with the skywalker strikes accessories and the black series jawa here he is with grand moff tarkin and the black pauldron sand trooper of course we've got the 40th anniversary a new hope darth vader and the new 2020 stormtrooper then of course with the imports we've got the sh figure arts tank pilot and the mafex first order stormtrooper and to finish it off with some bandai stuff we have the movie realization shadow stormtrooper and the r5 model kit painted by yours truly so there you have it, folks. There was my review of the new Kenner-inspired Obi-Wan Kenobi Black Series action figure. I gotta say, this figure is awesome. Even for someone like me who's not nostalgic for the original Kenner release, the solid body with the updated photo reel head that is very easily swappable to the other Obi-Wan made this an easy pickup for me so i'd say it's definitely worth it and is gonna look good on the shelf of course i'd love to know what you guys think of this figure let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like subscribe if you are new we're always talking about star wars the black series here on the channel i'm nate from out of the basement thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time